Hi, I'm Callan Dunlop with Primetime Local News, and today I'm joined by Mike and Tammy, the organizers for the annual Cutter Rally for Cancer. And to start, Mike, can you explain what the Cutter Rally is? Uh, we're excited to uh, introduce our Poker Cutter Rally for Cancer for 2023. Uh, it takes place on February 25th at the Lloydminster Exhibition Grounds. Um, our committee has worked for 19 years uh, on this event. Um, it's a great opportunity for uh, rural and urban people to come mix at a great event and activity uh, in support of cancer in our region. Tammy, can you tell me a little bit about what will be going on at the event this year? Well, let's start off with it being a really cool horse show. Come out and any kind of horse-drawn vehicle that you can imagine has been created or purchased and is out there to be seen. Um, we have miniature horses, regular size horses, draft horses all on the trail. Plus, recently in the last couple of years, we've allowed horseback riders out there as well. So there'll be kids on horseback, kids in toboggans behind horses, um, any way you can imagine kids out there playing, it'll, we'll have it with the horses. There is coffee and donuts on one of the checkpoints. And this year, which will be new to us, is a hot dog wiener roast hot dog pit. So people can come and enjoy that as well if they'd like to stop. We will have bunkers out there that people can tie to if they want to stop and have a hot dog so it's safe and hands-free. Okay, um, what else do we do? We have entertainment in the afternoon, um, old time country music people can sit and listen to. And then at five o'clock is supper. So supper will be when we draw all of our prizes and announce who the winner is of the cutter. Mike, can you give a little more insight on how people can participate this year? There's, there's a few ways that you can participate within the event. Uh, if you have a friend that's got a horse and a sleigh that you can jump on with them and they'll take you down the trail, uh, people can come and be, can either buy a ghost hand uh, where they can contribute to the event and they can uh, either come and roll themselves by two o'clock that day or our, our committee will roll on their behalf. They can buy a participant ticket and come and roll on their own behalf uh, by the time four o'clock the, the, the trail closes. Uh, so there's many ways that people can come and participate without even being on the trail. Uh, you, we do have a viewing spot set up where people mm -hmm. can also come and watch the horses and cutters go out onto the trail, which is set up at the north end of the racetrack on the exhibition grounds. They would just come in the 57th Street entrance and, and proceed around by the, the two J.C. Tucker barns. And there's a spot there where they can see the horse, horses and sleighs go out. And they can also come and if they buy a tip, ticket to participate in an event, they can, they'll be part of the banquet that we have in the evening as well. So there's a few ways that we, they can participate in that basis. With this being the 19th annual Cutter Rally, Tammy, can you go into a little bit about the history of the event? I was one of the original members of, of the committee and Mike has been a huge help with us when we were originally developing it. So what happened is one of our committee members lost a very close friend to cancer. Um, and that was with the East, Chap East West chapter of the Alberta Carriage Driving Association. And we were also wanting to connect with other driving members of the community. So we were combined driving, but we wanted to connect with the Miniature Horse Club and the draft committee. Can you speak to how you guys plan to evolve the event as the years go on? There's uh, some other opportunities that uh, people can work with our committee to, to fund and help support the generation of revenue for this event. Uh, we've established a corporate donor program uh, to support uh, a, a couple of new initiatives that we started last year. Last year, we had a bursary uh, for nurses to apply to to uh, to continue their professional development to support the cancer ward uh, at the Lloyd Mr. Hospital. Uh, so we're looking to add to that bursary so we can continue that that uh, opportunity for nurses for many, many years from on behalf of our committee and donors. Uh, we are looking to establish a scholarship fund uh, for nurses to enter into the uh, nursing world and also focus on the oncology department. Uh, we also will also go towards 
um, additional equipment purchases that the hospital needs to in for the cancer ward, as well as uh, we'll continue to support the, uh, to Haying the 30 with a donation from our committee as well. So there's they could become a participant, they could become a, a corporate donor, or they could provide a site and auction item that we can put on the table mm -hmm. to generate revenue that way as well. So the whole intent of this event is to generate funds to support cancer care in Lloydminster in area. All right. Thank you both for taking the time to talk about this event. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Caitlin. You bet. Thank okay, you very take much. Care.